Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web and he, come on, Zach, you're the biggest Spider Man fan here. Are you not singing? Watch out! Here comes, comes the Spider Man. <laughs> we are here to do a reaction to the first clip from Spider Man Homecoming. Wait, 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 wait! This is an actual clip. It's a clip from the movie. I was watching a trailer with you. No, no it's, it's a, a clip, bad. bud. It's a clip from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that was the last we saw of Zach. And uh, then he disappeared. <laughs> if you don't know, Zach is a huge, huge Spider-Man fan. Uh, Hector, <laughs> he'll give you a run for, you, for, uh, for your money, right? Oh, well, <laughs> Hector thinks he has a lot in common with Peter Parker. And <laughs> there's been a lot of debate over the years. Um, sorry, Hector. <laughs> oh, he's not. No, yeah. see, Hector's not here. Hector's so not by here. default, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Um, or, or it is Hector Spider-Man because... Nope. Nope. <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's not how it works. So you must have been very excited when Sony and Marvel announced their oh. joint union. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have been trying really, really hard not to get overhyped, but mm -hmm. every time I see something new, I freak out because it's finally the version I've been waiting for since childhood. Mm -hmm. The one scene in Civil War made the entire movie for me. I remember sitting yeah. next to Malika in the theater and the second... He started talking. I like grabbed her leg and squeezed. Was like, oh, 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 this kid's Spider Man. Tom it's Holland. Peter Parker. It's Peter Parker on screen. What Tom the Holland fuck? is truly a gift to humanity. Yeah. Dude, he makes uh, me so mad. <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm like super, super excited. Right, but there's right. this small, small, small part of me, mainly in my dreams, <laughs> where. I still had a chance right. to one day. I was like, dude, if Andrew fucking Garfield can do it, I'm the same age that as him. You know what? Fuck it. I'll be Spider Man one day. <laughs> Fine. And then he shows up on screen. I was like, oh, God, this, yeah. is, this is what, oh, this is old now. This child is Spider Man. He's, he's it. Yeah. He is it. Yep. Like, I had no doubt in my mind. The second he started talking, it was just like a light <laughs> went off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined his hopes and dreams. No one heard that, luckily, because he was too <laughs> far away from the mic. But fuck you, Cameron. I, um, yeah, Spider Man's an interesting character for me because even though I, lo I love the character, it's not a character that I actually really followed that well. Mm -hmm. And I liked Tobey Maguire and I liked Andrew Garfield more. But then I got to Tom Holland and that scene in Civil War, I was like, this must be what Spider Man, this must be the Spider Man that everyone has been waiting oh, for. Yeah. Because you get oh. such a different feeling than you yeah. get from the other yeah. two Spider Man. He's, he's fun, he's youthful, he's agile. He's, I mean, Tom Holland really is this character. And I yeah. think it was really smart that they had the other people there to react to him. Because right. that was a lot of it, too, to set him up. Having them react to him like, yo, usually, I don't know if you're in a fight, you usually don't talk this much. You know, like, mm -hmm. that was, that all helped to build that character in that mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. I totally agree. And I really like, too, that Homecoming, they're not in, in you know, now introducing Tom Holland Spider-Man into the MCU. I really like that they don't feel the need to be like, well, we got to do his origin story again. Right. Right. They're just getting right into getting it. Getting right exactly. into high school. And my exactly. favorite version of Spider-Man as it currently exists in media is Spectacular Spider-Man, the cartoon that Sony did. So I have hopes that mm -hmm. they can sometimes do something right. Uh, that cartoon was amazing. It was phenomenal. It was just his life in high school, and it was some of the best yeah. Spider-Man stories out there. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I recommend it. You can get it really cheap on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, but this feels like that same spirit. Mm -hmm. It has that same feeling to it. I, I just can't wait. I, I could go on and on and <laughs> on. <laughs> on and on. I am a huge, huge Spider-Man fan. This is just Marvel finally having some hand in Spider-Man. Yeah. Ugh, Are you ready wait. for this? No, I didn't know this was a clip. I'm kind of <laughs> freaking out right now. Well, I'm praying for you because uh, here we go. Here it okay. is. Here it is. Let's go. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this. Oh my God. I can't do it. <laughs> it's the details. Okay, sorry. Basically, <laughs> 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 this guy's a secret. 
secret wife. Yeah, but you know what she's like. If she finds out people try and kill me every single night, she's not gonna let me do this anymore. Okay, 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 okay. I'll level with you. I don't think I can keep this a secret. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. Hey, where are you going? What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> so did you like it? Yes! <laughs> Yes, you you freaked so out from him good. from him closing the window with his foot. With his foot? No, because it's the fucking details. Exactly. He's Spider Man, damn it. He should be doing that kind of stuff. He's Spider Man. God oh, damn it. Man. I can't. You guys talk. Uh <laughs> it was just great. Uh yeah, I mean, even just leading it because uh, we've seen in the trailer that little scene of the friend right. being in the room and him mm -hmm. being like, You're the Spider Man. So as soon as he was he went in the window and was crawling on the ceiling. I was you like, knew oh, it was gonna I, know, happen. I know what scene this is. And yeah, it was yeah, yeah. still It was still great because of the way they communicated together. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is and, two friends. Any the, two friends could relate. The Death yeah. Star Lego that he had. That was uh, amazing. Which settles a debate we had during our watch along last weekend of we were debating on whether or not when he said the movie with the things, you know, like whether or not he, as a character, Peter Parker, mm -hmm. actually knew what Star Wars mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. and that it was on planet Hoth or if he was talking like that because he thought the older non-geeks wouldn't know. Right. And I think that settles that argument yeah, for us. That's, that's true. Peter that's Parker true. knows. He's making a Death yes. Star with Genki. Mm -hmm. He knows, damn it. And, well, and, he, and he has a bunch of Star Wars action figures like on, yeah. a, on a, like a little shelf behind yeah. behind them. It looked um, like a Boba Fett hoodie on the wall too. I may have oh, mistaken that. I saw the the uh, arm pad that looked kind of like the Boba Fett colors. I might have been mistaken. Have you ever seen though. that old movie, The Empire Strikes Back? I'm like that. That probably as a Star Wars fan and a fan of like what was happening in Civil War, I love that moment. Um, God, the scene was. It's so it's so short. It doesn't give you too much, but it just sets up a little bit of the relationship between Ned Leeds and Peter Parker, which I think is super super cool. Yeah, definitely. I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if they would have released that first as the very first thing, mm -hmm. I still would have been just like every time they release one of these, they're letting me know they get the character now. And I don't know how much yeah. Marvel's got a hand in this, but it's like they're not releasing the stuff to try to. It, it's like all of this is now regaining trust. Mm -hmm. It feels like someone is smart enough in the marketing department to know we broke trust because that that right there that that doesn't win over the hearts and minds of the random viewer in the country like right. that's a mm -hmm. freaking that's like, for you that's for yeah that's that's for us like hey trust us we got mm -hmm. this we got this yeah i think that 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 is one of the things that i feel like with everything we've seen out of spider-man homecoming so far that i just feel like they're really they get the humor of spider-man mm -hmm. in a way that none of the previous Spider-Man films did, which isn't to say that they were all doom and gloom. They certainly weren't. They just didn't get the tone quite well, Yeah, right. I think <clears throat> acknowledging that you can be a good kid and want to do good without being cheesy as fuck, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, is great. You know, like, I, I love Sam Raimi. I, 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 I really too, do. Yeah. But there's definitely a level of cheese there. It's like he's looking at those 60s books and he's like, all right, well, now how do we transfer that to today? Right, and it right. comes off really cheesy. Like, mm -hmm. you can't just be good for good sake. And I think having a kid that's going through those real high school issues is what drew me to Peter Parker in the first place, is mm -hmm. that he was relatable. He was a normal kid that any geek at home could be reading that book and be like, oh, I, I feel you. I totally feel you. Mm -hmm. And that just that scene in and of itself and I love, I, every time there's another scene with Zendaya in it, I'm digging her character I, more and more. God, I'm so, so excited about her because I just, I think she's such a great choice for MJ. Like, just. She, but is she actually MJ? I don't know. I don't know if they've officially no, stated. No, they haven't. As of right now, all know. we know is she's playing a character named Michelle. Whether that turns into Mary Jane, I have no clue. I, initially, I feel like I was certainly under the impression that oh, totally. she yeah. was supposed that's to what, be. That's what everyone was speculating. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, whoever she is, uh, I'm excited about her. Oh, uh, she, she, she's great. I love that she feels like a high school student hanging yeah. out with them. And everything yeah. they've been showing so far. But then again, I'm way too old to really know what that means anymore. So it's my <laughs> recollection and what sure, I feel like sure. it should be. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how younger people are responding to it in a way. But it, it's hitting all the right notes for me. Everything about it. Um, even if... And I'm not. I'm just playing my own devil's mm -hmm. advocate here. Even if the plot falls apart and the action scenes don't work, and it's got a shaky third act, if I get an hour at least of conversations like that in 
him just being Peter Parker, mm-hmm. I'm still going to like the fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm still going to be on board with it. I'm still going to come home feeling satisfied because that's a, I've been waiting for that for mm-hmm. so long. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see um, more in this film, too, with Aunt May because I really oh, liked yeah, yeah. what we saw of her mm-hmm. in Civil mm-hmm. War. So it's Marissa Tomei, you can't really yeah, go wrong, right? Tomei. Like, come on. <laughs> this uh, and believe me, I am definitely in that nerd camp where it's real awkward because you're just like, I my memories of Marissa Tomei were from childhood. Yeah, of like Marissa Tomei was there to help me understand what it meant to be a man. Yep. Uh, yep. And now to see her as Aunt May, and it's like, oh, awkward. Yeah, but now you're also like, may, <laughs> but like maybe Aunt May is actually kind of hot. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's like, fine. Aunt May's a respectable moment. woman. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I love the fact that this movie really, and I think this trilogy going forward is going to embrace this version of Spider-Man really being a high school kid. Yes. I always feel like they try to skip that. In Sam Raimi's, he yeah, like he graduates. Yeah, it's so you know? true. It's like he was in high school for a second and then yeah. like the next movie. And he was still fucking Tobey Maguire. I right. mean, come on. He never <laughs> yeah. really believed that Tobey Maguire was in high school. Right. No. And I love the fact that they got like a, a younger cast. It's going to be in high school. Mm-hmm. It's going to continue to be in high school at least for the sequel. Hopefully it's a full trilogy of them being in high school. Yeah. And then we can focus on other stories. And how much do you think that's because they're able to with this kind of father-like figure in Tony Stark mm-hmm. and these kind of older characters that are pre-established in this universe yeah. that can be something that this young hero can look up to. Totally. Yeah. Like the beats are there for I, it. Yeah, I yeah. think that that is definitely a big part of how they're managing to make it really feel like, you know, Peter Parker is this kid and this is something that he wants to be a part of. I mean, even down to the the question of like, oh, so are you an Avenger? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Like, you know what I mean? like, and him reacting to that by putting his yes, yeah, thing yeah, like, yeah. Oh. yeah. So to me, I I think that that is is definitely a part of it. And having that already established cinematic universe with all of these adult superhero yeah. characters to like fit this kid into it just mm-hmm. lends itself so well to like real high school storytelling. Yeah. What's your favorite iteration of? Peter Parker that we've seen yet, the yours personally. It, it could be from comic books, TV shows, movies. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. You know, it's funny when I really I liked that first Andrew Garfield film. I mm-hmm. really did. Um, now looking back on it, I'm like, oh, I don't really know how I feel about it. But I I did like when I first saw it. I especially liked that he like told Gwen Stacy who he was and mm-hmm. like didn't treat her like an idiot. Um, so like there were a lot of things that I think were fun about that and I also felt like even though Andrew Garfield was just as old as Tobey Maguire if not actually older I think when he played Spider-Man he was to me he still felt more like a high schooler than Tobey Maguire yeah only by a little bit but but enough that I was like oh this is kind of fun like I'm kind Mm. of on board with this I I have issues that I don't want to like break (laughs) Hector and I have like fought on the air so (laughs) many times I still love Hector we're still we're still good buds but we've gotten like because <laughs> he loves Andrew Garfield as well. It's oh, one of his favorite. Okay, okay. I I liked Andrew Garfield and I liked Tobey Maguire, but I think my favorite was probably, and I think it's because I grew up with it as a kid, was the '90s animated series. Oh yeah, that was great. I love that. That was my introduction. Yeah, don't, don't, go, don't, don't, back. Go, back. <laughs> don't go back. I do every. I do once a year. I go back once a year. Every year, I'm like, uh, I just want to watch Spectacular again. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. And I do. So if you survive it through Spider-Man: Homecoming. <laughs> Are you going to be able to handle seeing Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War? No, because if anything happens to him, I'm going to fucking flip. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you don't put... No, I'm just I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just All of these things that are now on the table are things young me would have just never imagined was yeah. possible. Just never... I mean, I remember freaking out reading a Wizard magazine in high school for the first like hint of... Oh shit, they're making a Spider Man movie. In 1999, I still have that Wizard magazine. Yeah, like they're making yeah. a Spider Man movie. I was flipping the fuck out. All oh, my dreams are coming true. I also remember illegally downloading Spider Man 3 leaked footage before it came out. <laughs> you know, and oh, at that time Spider-Man I was still like, crazy. yeah! And then I went to the theater and I walked out. So, <laughs> and it's the only movie I've ever walked out on. But there's, it's just, it's so near to my heart. Yeah. Uh, it, it, like, it's a character that helped me through depression, helped me with suicidal thoughts. Like there's so many things that my life was 
helped through mm-hmm. because of Peter Parker mm-hmm. and right. finally feeling like there's a version that's going to come onto screen that's going to open up this character right. because I think that ultimately is what made me the most sad about Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire is just like people don't know they're getting a version of Peter that to me is missing so many key elements like seeing Andrew Garfield like go out there at the beginning and stand up for the kid like I get why they did it mm-hmm. in Spider-Man I get it you're saving the cat right at the beginning and trying to establish him as all this stuff but that's not the part of Peter Parker that's going to relate to all these other kids to the kids who are going through those issues that Peter was tackling at a young age. You know, it's like he was so powerful and so great, but had to allow kids to kick the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. And he had to be the dorky high schooler who didn't have any friends and couldn't have friends because he was different. And those things resonate with so many people. And I think that's important. And it, it makes me sad to see these other versions that come out and they don't they don't know. And I'm hoping this version comes out and it'll just like open those floodgates right. again and be like, oh, that's the Peter we've been looking for. Now, all this is being said, I understand Spider-Man at this point is like a cultural phenomenon around the around the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I know that it's not like people don't know who Peter Parker is. Right. So then for you, Zach, obviously, like being such a huge Spider-Man fan, you watch this and you feel like, oh, this is a Spider-Man that's actually made for Spider-Man fans. This is not necessarily as because like I feel like a lot of things that are like live action adaptations of like anime that I like they're mm-hmm, not mm-hmm. they're not for me right. they are to bring in more fans mm-hmm. to potentially end up liking the source material which is the thing that I actually like but you watch this and you feel like you're like this is for Spider-Man I feel fans. like it's both okay I definitely feel like it's both because at the end of the day they're not trying to sell Spider-Man comic books to no, people that go to the true. movies at the like those comics don't make shit money for them and yeah. if they wanted to they'd put a different head of creative on that team sure. like if you if you go watch the movie and then a bunch of kids go to the comic book store and pick up spider-man books they're gonna be like what the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna understand right, or yeah. like it right. and it's gonna confuse them uh they'd have to go into the back catalog and find <laughs> stuff from a different time mm-hmm. um but I, I think it's both i think okay. you know the interesting thing with nostalgia is we keep going back to this idea of you know what the way you remember it not the way it was because mm-hmm. you you cherry pick yeah. out, especially with things like the X Men too. You know, oh, you go back yeah. and you reread those uncanny X Men from the '90s, and you're like, "This is like soap opera <laughs> drama yeah. bullshit. This it's is crap." True. And it's and it's weird. And uh, same thing with some of those old Spider Man books. But they're playing off the nostalgia. I think they're going to be bringing in a new audience, which is exciting. It's got the right ingredients to get a very large audience there with with you know yeah they're putting robert downey jr in it yeah they're putting a lot of he's in a lot of the marketing material Mm -hmm. but it's gonna work it's gonna fucking work and tons of people are gonna show up so i just hope it's really good i just want it to be good that's all agreed agreed guys let us know in the comments below what you thought about this first clip from spider-man homecoming is this the spider-man that you've been waiting for let us know make sure you guys also check out the patreon we're doing a whole bunch of different stuff we've got a whole bunch of tiers we'll customize some trailer reactions we're also doing live audio commentaries with you guys watch alongs with myself and cameron we've had emma on she did evil dead 2 zach when are you gonna jump in there at some point <laughs> i did legend i did a watch along oh, with yeah. legend yeah legend. yeah yeah mm. I, and i'll be which version did you guys watch uh well well the... we did the version we did the director's, director's cut first cut. Okay. and wirecast crashed so that Ugh. version was lost forever so Oof. then we redid yeah the other version and the theatrical i spent version. the whole time being an asshole being like <laughs> oh about the but the director's cut <laughs> no, so we have to do a spider-man cut. movie is that, that's what we should do. oh yeah, don't <laughs> if you make me sit let's through make, spider-man let's 3 make, uh hector and zach just do all just the battle <laughs> just battle Oh I, boy! I am not ready to test our friendship in that way. <laughs> We've tested it many times, and I'm not. I don't. I want to keep Hector as a friend. Hi. I think Spider-Man Three is better good. than both Amazing Spider-Man movies. I agree with wow. you. Wow! And wow. it's still the only movie I've ever walked out of. And I agree with you. I was just. I had a higher resolve when I went to see Amazing Spider-Man One and Two because I'd already been so disappointed by Three. That I was like, well, fuck it. <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you to subscribe below, but maybe these last few <laughs> comments has made you real salty. Let us know let's, in the comments let's below. Let's argue about it. Thanks for jumping in, Cameron, to fuck everything up at the end. That's what you're here for, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.